So what is up guys, today, um, this is Borto the Savage, and I kind of just wanted to give you guys my predictions for Ash's new team, so let's get into it. I'm going to start with Pokemon that Ash currently owns, and then uh, expand from there. Ash has Pikachu, and he's had Pikachu since the beginning of the series, so I don't see him getting rid of Pikachu, um, but I just wanted to put, them, put Pikachu on the list, um, and... Let's get on to the next Pokemon. Ash currently also has Mr. Mime, but see him keeping Mr. Mime for too long. Um, but that's basically all I have for Mr. Mime at the moment. Um, Ash also currently has a Gengar, and that is his first ghost type Pokemon. And I and I think that's his first type of ghost Pokemon. Correct me if I'm wrong in the description down below. Now let's get on to the next Pokemon. Ash has now has a Dragonite, and I want to see how he uses Gengar and um, Dragonite sufficiently, and see how he uses them in battles. So let's get on to the next Pokemon. Guys, Ash got an egg, and that egg turned into Riolu. And if him, if Riolu and Ash's friendship grows really strong. Ash could evolve his real Lu into a Lucario. And if he evolves his real Lu into Lucario, um he could use Lucario, Dragonite, and Gengar really efficiently in battles. So I can't wait to see how he uses them in battles. Let's get on to the next Pokemon guys. I see Ash catching Grookey because he's had a grass type starter in every region except for Kalos. So that's the only reason why I feel he'll, he'll get a Grookey and he could evolve it into a Thwacky. Or he could even evolve his Thwacky into a Rallaboom. And Rallaboom will be cool to see drop on Ash's team. So let's get on to the next Pokemon. So guys, there was a trailer that I didn't see yet, but people were talking about it on their channels. So, but um, so I took pictures from on like from other places and from the trailer, and I'm hoping to look at it later. Um, but I know Sabo was in that trailer, and I think Sabo might catch, and I think Sabo might be caught by Ash or Go, and that would be really cool to see him be caught by Ash. Um. To see him have another water type starter on his journey. But let's get on to the next Pokemon. Ash might catch a Rabu because Rabu um is a fire type starter, and I want to tell you something about a fire type starter. Um the first fire type starter Ash got fully evolved. The second one he got um evolved halfway, but and then he didn't get one for the next season to for the next generation after that then he and then for the next generation he got a fully evolved fire type starter then he got no fire type starter at all i mean then he got a halfway fire type starter evolution line and then he got no fire type starter at all and then he got a fully evolved fire type starter again so i feel like he'll get rabu to get that halfway fire type starter again and it might even evolve into a Cinderace if Ash is lucky. But if it evolved into a Cinderace, it would be breaking the pattern. But who knows? Another theory I have is that Go might evolve his Rabu into a Cinderace, and Ash might just catch a regular Rabu or even a Score Bunny and evolve that into a Rabu and keep it for the rest of the region. Um, but let's get on to the next Pokemon. But first, hold on, I got one more thing. If you want to know the pattern in order, first he got Charizard, then he got Quilava, then in the Hoenn region he didn't get one at all. Then after that he got Infernape, then after that he got Pignite, and after that he didn't get no Fire Starter at all in the Kalos region. And after that in Alola he got Incineroar. So that's all I wanted to say to so you guys um, know that, my, that the pattern that I said was correct. And if it was a little confusing, 
uh, because I was confusing myself too. So I just wanted you guys to know what I was talking about. Um, so let's get on to the next Pokemon. In that same trailer, they seen Rabu. I mean, they seen Surfetched. Sorry, um, Surfetched um is a bird Pokemon, and I feel Ash always has a bird break Pokemon. And that's the only reason why I feel like he could catch Surfetched in any way. So let's get on to the next Pokemon. We're going to talk more about the bird type thing later and for another Pokemon on the list. But let's get to the next Pokemon. So the next Pokemon that I wanted to talk about was Corviknight. Like I said, we're going to talk about the bird thing more later. Um, I feel like Ash will either catch Surfetched or Corviknight. It depends um, on something but i have no clue what it is yet but it but he had a bird type pokemon in every generation and i can name them off too so you're not confused or in any way first he got pidgeot then he got noctowl then he had swallow then he had staraptor then after he got and then after he got staraptor he had him pheasant then after i'm pheasant he had talonflame and after talonflame he had rowlet Rowlet isn't actually the bird type Pokemon of the, of the Alola series. It was too canon, but he still got a bird type Pokemon in the end. So that's why he might get not the normal bird type Pokemon, but he could also get Surfetched or another bird type Pokemon along the line. I just feel like he's going to get a bird type Pokemon somewhere throughout this regeneration. But um, yeah, that's about it for that. And the only other thing I want to talk about is if Ash does um evolve his Riolu into a uh, Lucario, I don't think he's gonna have a Megastone for it because in, I played the game Sword and Shield, and there and you couldn't find Megastones that I because I checked a lot of places and I couldn't find Megastones and I looked it up. People said that you cannot find Megastones inside of the game, so I don't understand. So I wouldn't understand it if they bung um. It, if they bring Mega Stones to the game, I mean, if they bring Mega Stones to the show, but they bring it, but they didn't bring it to the game, so that's the only reason why I think that they won't get let Ash get a Mega Stone for Lucario or Gengar in the future, because if he did, it wouldn't make sense to me. Um, but you know, sometimes. Pokemon is really confusing, and that's it for this video, and hit the like button if you liked this video, hit the subscribe button, and hit the notification bell, and thank you for watching, I just wanted to give you guys my opinion on Ash's new team, but if I missed anything, I will put it in the next video, because I'm going to make another video about this same subject later when we get more information, and there's going to be new Pokemon on there, um, if there is any new information, and if, if I missed anything that I was supposed to put in this video, I'll put it in that video. So, thank you for watching, hit the subscribe button, hit the, hit the notification bell, and like this video, please, thank you. And this was Borto the Savage, aka BTS, out.